everyone. Welcome back to the maths class of standard 3. I am teaching chapter number 11 measures of mass and this is video number 2 of this chapter. Children, in this video we will cover two topics. Addition of different unit of mass and statement sum related to the addition of measurement of mass. So should we start this video? So students, Addition in measurement of mass is similar like that we have done addition in length. Okay. In this we have to find out first the different units and we have to make different column for the different units. As you can see here I have written two questions. Okay. I have separated the both into two parts. In this I am just going to solve the first question and in this I am going to solve second question. Okay. So here as we have done in the measurement of length, we have to make two separate column of different units. Okay. So, here I have made kg and g. Is there in the first number kg, g, kg, g, kg, g. So, here two different metric units are kilogram and gram. So, here I have made two columns kilogram and gram. And now we have to arrange the numbers accordingly. So, in the first number 246 kg. So, we will write under the column 246. And this is 397 gram. So, 397. Now, the second number is 84 kg. So, we will write here 84 kg and 400 gram. And the last weight is 72 kg. So, here we will write 72 and 110 gram. Now, we have to find the sum. Addition sign is also given there. So, here we have to add. Okay. Now, 7 plus 0 plus 0, 7. 9 plus 0, 9 plus 1, 10. And from this 10, we have to write this 0 here. And this one will carry over to the next place. Okay. Now 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. Okay. Now 6 plus 4, 10. Plus 2, 12. So from this 12 we will write 2 here. And this one will carry over to the next place. Okay. Now 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 8, 13. And 13 plus 7, 20. 20. So from, so from this number, we have to write this 0. And this 2 will carry over to the next place. Now 2 plus 2, 4. Understood? Now we have to write thus. The sum is. 402 kg, 907 gram. Okay. Now, the second number question. Here again we can see kg, g. Kg, g, kg, g. So, two metric units are kilogram and gram. So, here I already have made two column of kilogram and gram. Now, 56 kg 350 gram 41 kg 610 gram 7 kg and 26 gram now we have to add this okay the addition sign is not given here but it is written in the question that find the sum sum means we have to add okay so 0 plus 0 0 plus 6 6 5 plus 1, 6, plus 2, 8. 3 plus 6, 9. Now 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 7, 14. So from this 14, we will write here 4. And this one will carry over to the next place. Okay? 5 plus 1, 6, plus 4, 10. Here we have to write 10. Okay? Now the final statement does. The sum is 
104 kg and 986 grams. I hope this is clear to you how to add different metric units of mass. So just pause this video and write these examples in your maths notebook. Okay children, now here we will find out how to solve this statement sum. Here I have written a question. Heen about 7 kg mangoes. Okay, 3 kg and 850 gram melons. And 5 kg apples. Okay, so Hina is a girl who has gone to the fruit shop. And from there she has purchased mangoes, melons and apples. Okay, mango 7 kgs, melons 3 kg and 850 grams and apples 5 kg. Okay, now we have to find out the total weight of all the fruits. Okay, bought by her. So here we will write the first statement, weight of, weight of mangoes. Is equal to. Okay. Now here two different units are kg and gram. So kg and gram. Okay. So the weight of mangoes are 7 kg and gram is not given there. So we will write 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now the second statement we have to write weight of melons. is equal to 3 kg and 850 gram. Okay. Now the third statement we have to write. Weight of apples is equal to 5 kg only. Gram is not given. So 0, 0, 0. Now we have to add. So, this will be 0, 5 and 8. Now, 7 plus 3, 10 plus 5, 15. Now, we have to write the final statement. Thus, total weight total weight of all the fruits is 15 kg 850 gram. Understood how you have to solve the statement sum? So just pause this video and write these examples in your maths notebook. 